This is the new Biomax Pro Ultra. It's a result of 18 months of work, and I can tell you now, it's insanely powerful. So a quick heads up, I was sent this panel free of charge and I'm affiliated with the company. If you buy using the links down below, you save, I get a commission. Now there is a lot to talk about with this new Biomax Pro range. So let me run through it all. It's been totally re-engineered from the ground up. The power on this panel is apparently 20% higher than the previous Biomax panels, which were already incredibly powerful. They've squeezed in 30% more LEDs and the LEDs now go right to the edge of the panel. And they're calling this their new zero gap design. So if you wanna get multiple panels, you can clip them all together and you don't get that dead spot in the middle. There's also individual wavelength power control, there's pulsing, there's preset smart modes, there's a new and improved remote. Of course, the panel is black, Here, let me turn that off. And there are also new names and in turn, new prices. As well as these new features, it also includes the voice recognition from the previous Biomax range. It still has the app and wireless connectivity. It's also compatible with the old stands. The control screen is the same. However, there are a few new features and it continues to use the seven wavelengths as seen in previous Biomax series. Now the panel itself is 36 inches tall, 12 inches across and three inches deep. It is thicker than the previous panels and it weighs 30 one pounds this, this thing is quite heavy now of course this is the largest biomax pro it is the ultra and it has 432 led chips in it and these are all single chip leds i'll share my thoughts on this later okay so on screen you can see the data from my spectrometer we have a little bit of blue light down here in the 470 range then we have the red peak at 630 and then 660. Now in this particular snapshot, I see a lot of 850. That is because most of the near infrared light is going to 850. As I move around the panel, you'll see that the shape of the near infrared curve changes. And in turn, you do start seeing more of the 830 and the 810 nanometer light. Now there's also a little bit of 1060. I can't see this with my spectrometer. However, Platinum LED have had this panel tested by an independent lab, and you can see the full breakdown of wavelengths in their report. So you do see a very small amount of 1060. Now, now, just like the Biomax panels of old, nearly 80% of the energy is going to 660 and 850 nanometer light. These are two of the most popular wavelengths. And as we just saw, you're only getting a very small amount of energy going to these other wavelengths. So in regards to power output, I had a peak figure of 120 milliwatts over centimeter squared, an average over nine different spots of 101 milliwatts over centimeter squared, and a total wattage output of 256 watts. Now, when we look at the shopping tool over at Light Therapy Inside, is. I'll put a link to that down below. Check it out if you haven't, it's really cool. We can sort the entire database by average irradiance. We'll see the top device here is actually a handheld device. Then we have the Biomax 900. So this new Biomax Pro Ultra would sit here in second place with 101 milliwatts over centimeter squared. So yes, this is a very powerful panel. And the sound levels for this panel were 46.5 decibels. Okay, so what about price? Well, at the time of filming, this panel was retailing for 1599 US dollars. However, I have been given a link that saves you 5% that is down below. Remember, I do get a commission on the sale and that would bring the price down to 1520 US dollars. There's free shipping in the USA and also to the UK and Canada. Though some countries such as Australia, you will have to pay shipping. Okay, so looking at this from a value point of view, that means you're paying $5.90 for one therapeutic watt of red light. Looking at all of the wall panels that I've tested that are still available, this would put it into top spot meaning it is well priced for all the power you are getting. So what do you get for that price? Well, you get a really good manual, you get some eye goggles, and you also get this handy remote. However, of course, you can still use your app to control this panel. If you're wanting stands, you can get a wall mounting bracket for $80. There's a mobile and a horizontal stand for $400 or a motorized stand for $800. I've done videos on all of these stands, so check that out if you wanna know more about them. I should also mention the panel comes with a three-year warranty and there is a 60-day return turn period however platinum led do state they have a right to claim a 20 percent restocking fee so watch for that okay so now that we have all the data what do i like about this panel well first up the power output it's market leading and there is no panel that comes close to it 
I mean, the older Biomax is second to this new Pro range. I do like the new Zero Gaps design. It was always an issue with the older Biomax panels. I mean, I used them in the past and you had this big chunk in the middle where you didn't have any LEDs. So it is good they've addressed that. However, though, lately I've been using more body panels. So that gap issue wasn't really a problem. And I do like that Platinum LED have added a whole new host of features. The pulse ends in there if you're into that. Individual wavelength control is really useful. I mean, you could set this up so you can just run, say, 810 in blue if you wanted to. In the past, that wasn't even possible. And the smart mode function is a welcome addition. You have deep tissue mode, anti-aging, sleep, skin repair, workout, and mood and wellness. Though I always do wonder how credible these modes actually are. Of course, from a pure value point of view, it's one of the best on the market. That's just simply looking at the amount of red light you get for the price you pay. Because this is an expensive panel, the price has gone up relative to the Biomax 900. Of course, though, you are getting more LEDs. It's effectively a larger panel. You're also buying from a company that's been in the space for about 10 years. You're getting a panel that's well designed. A lot of engineering's gone into it. It comes with all the right accessories. There's free shipping to most parts of the world. And you've got a wide range of apps and stands to choose from when using these panels. But there are some downsides. First up is that restocking fee. Platinum LED are quite ruthless with their restocking charges. So if you get this panel thinking you may return it, I would be very careful not to do any damage to the packaging, not remove any stickers or anything like that, because losing 20% of the purchase price would sting. Now we know these new panels are very powerful. However, if you are planning on running multiple panels from the one power socket, you're going to have to switch this panel into a low power mode. There's a switch on the back that alternates between high and low, and low will literally cut the power in half which is a massive drop, right? And this has been done so you can run multiple panels from the one power point. The workaround here would be to get an electrician in or of course run extension leads to different sockets in the house. Still, it is something to consider if you are planning on getting multiple panels. I mean, we compare this to say the Block Blue Light Ultimate or the Rojo 3600. These are large all-in-one body panels and they're also putting out a lot of power but these panels seem to run fine on one circuit. So be sure to keep this in mind when making a purchase. Now, though this panel still uses the Biomax's seven wavelengths, so you get the blue and the near infrareds and the deep near infrareds, after seeing the independent lab testing, I realized that there really is very little power going to the blue light and the 1060. In fact, so much so that I'd say this is actually a five wavelength panel. You're really not going to get much benefit from that blue or the 1060. I mean, just look at the power breakdown again. These wavelengths hardly even register on the chart. So if you were considering this panel because it had the 1060 or the blue, I would say look elsewhere. And I do have some options I'll cover really soon. And though this panel has incorporated the smart modes and the ability to individualize the wavelength power, one big problem with this is you can't see this data on the screen. No matter what mode you're in, no matter what settings you've set, the display simply shows the time remaining. I was really surprised by this because a lot of panels now incorporate these advanced mode options and pretty much all of them display something on the screen. So you can see if you're pulsing or if you've cut back the light at 6.30 or even what mode you're in. The downside here is you could be running it in say skincare mode one day, turn the panel off, the next day want to use it prior to a workout where you want the panel running at full power and you don't even know, you just turn it on and away you go. I've found this quite frustrating in my testing. Pretty much every single time now, I have to go in and make sure all the settings are how I want it. It could have been designed so much better. Likewise, there's no way to save a customized preset. So you can't go in and select all the wavelengths and the pulsing rate and the time to suit your particular needs and save that. You have to go through and change it individually each time. And changing some of the settings is a bit fiddly on the panel. It's much easier on the phone. Finally, one other little downside is the hanging hook system on the Biomax panels. This has been the case for a few years now, and I really do miss the older screw-in systems. This new setup's just a bit fiddly. Overall then, who is this panel for? Well, if you just want raw power, a ton of red and near infrared in the tried and tested wavelengths, your 660 and 850, then sure, this is hard to beat. If you want to get a lot of energy deep into the body, maybe you've got some ligament or some bone issues, or you're even coming at it from a sporting point of view, then yeah, this is a good option. Likewise, if you have plans on getting more of these panels and connecting them together, 
and you want the portability and flexibility that the smaller panels all interlinked offer then yes again it's another great option but if you're looking at this panel because it has pulsing or custom preset modes remember there are a lot of panels already doing this likewise panels that are offering a lot more wavelengths and a smoother blend of light as well you see because the new primax pro still uses single chip leds you do get what i call a polka dot effect the light does not blend nice and easily like it does in say a Huga panel or the new rouge g4 panel but of course it does offer good value okay so let's compare it to a few of its competitors now first up we have the block blue light mega 5.0 now this is a lot cheaper than the Ultra with a discounted price of $1,275 and it has five wavelengths. These are only going to the red and the near of red light. The average power is about 81 milliwatts. So it is about 10 or 20% less than the Ultra, but it does have a lot of things going for it. Firstly, there's a five year warranty and no restocking fees on returns within 30 days. And you're getting 300 dual chip LEDs. Combine this with the fact that no wavelength is getting less than 15% of the power. It means you're getting a good spread of light so for a couple hundred dollars less yes you are getting less power but a lot of the features are the same another one is the rouge g4 now this is a new panel with eight wavelengths though there's no blue light in it you are getting a lot of 1060 nanometer light to be honest if you want 1060 this is the panel to get now the power is only about 60 percent of that of the ultra but remember, the Ultra is very, very powerful and maybe even too powerful for most people. And with the G4, you also get some really cool advanced features such as individual wavelength pulsing and all the preset smart modes. And you can pick up this panel for about $1,300. Finally, if you do want a panel of this size, but you're super tight on a budget, then there's the Rojo 900. This can be had for under $1,200. So you're saving over $300 compared to the Ultra. It has all the smart modes and preset modes. It has pulsing and they have no restocking fee as well. And for this price, you're getting 300 dual chip LEDs putting out five different wavelengths. And the power figure is 72 milliwatts. So again, less than the Ultra, but hey, more than enough for most cases. So plenty of options. The good thing is I've reviewed all of these panels. So why don't you go check out one of the reviews and hopefully you'll find value in that video.